that moment in 1950, it would be 40 long years before the United States would qualify again for the World Cup. 1990 marked the resurgence of American soccer on the international stage. So here is great moment number five, courtesy of my old teammate, Paul Caligiuri. Paul Caligiuri has scored a goal in the USA, lead 1-0. Looking back today and realizing what we achieved um, with virtually a group composed of college players or former college players playing at that stage was just a tremendous, a tremendous uh, accomplishment. That basically was the key moment, I think, for men's soccer in this country. After 50 years or 40 years of not being in the World Cup to actually be in it again, that was the, was the flowering, really, of, of uh, the early flowering of the sport. And the U.S. had already been granted the rights to hold the 94 World Cup. And it would have been an insult and an embarrassment of deep proportions for the U.S. to fail to qualify for the 1990 World Cup and then being turned around to be hosting. That just simply can't, it would be, it would be a laughing stock is what we would have been. We were in Trinidad a few days before. People had painted their cars red. Some people had painted their houses red, not just their faces. And I remember that the Trinidad government had already declared the Monday after that as a national holiday they were expecting to win um, it was just a simple throw and someone took the throw and they played it back to tab ramos and he played a 25 yard square ball to me as it was bouncing and when i took the first touch to receive it going forward it wasn't quite chest high and it wasn't quite to my legs i had to kind of body it forward and by the time i bodied it forward i'd seen the on rushing um center midfielder challenging me so I had to speed up to get to the ball. He moved forward, and the, the sun was shining right from over his shoulder into the goalkeeper's eyes. The, the half-fake move that I made, the shot was all instinctive, and it wasn't pre-planned. Yes, I wanted to receive the ball and go forward, but did I have intentions of trying to beat a, beat a defender and shoot the ball from 35 yards? Absolutely not. But it was hit with some velocity, but it was more like a knuckleball. It took a great dip at the end, sort of thing. And JP, I think, wasn't sure it was in. I had to give him a jab at my elbow, <laughs> you know? But I'll bet if you listen to that game, you'd probably hear some surprise in my call of the goal. Ramos putting it in to Calajuri. Beats the first man. A left-footed shot! Paul Calajuri has scored a goal in the USA! Lead 1-0! I knew the moment the ball left my foot that it had a, a good chance of going in the goal. For sure it was going on goal. That's how certain I was. Um, but then it just seemed like forever getting there. <laughs> just, but when it finally landed, um, it was a, just kind of silently landed in the back of the net and uh, that silence remained. Yeah, I think it keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. And I was like, yeah, you shot from half field or you shot you know, from wherever, but I'm not exactly sure how far it was, but to hit that and then to see them pull through and win the whole thing, I mean, just to go through to the World Cup, yeah, great experience. But that was one of those formative events, and it, uh, you know, it was a multi-million dollar goal uh, on Paul Caligiuri's part. I hope he's been well taken care of because it's the biggest goal in American soccer history. Still to come. We'll take a historic look around Pasadena, where, over the years, everything's been coming up roses for soccer in the USA. When we return after this message and a word from your local station.